Mr. President, I feel compelled to address head on, I mean head on, the news stories in recent weeks that have pointed out the shocking discovery, yes, shocking discovery that I am growing older. Did you get that? The shocking discovery that I am growing older. I find it no surprise, but then I have had some time to become accustomed to the increasing distance between the year of my birth and the current date. I may not like it, but as Maurice Chevalier put it, old age isn't so bad. When you consider the alternative, a recent Associated Press story ran in West Virginia's Charleston Daily Mail. The headline read, Dramatic Change in Signatures Shows that Age is Catching Up was Senator Byrd. The newspaper offered as proof the signatures on my Senate financial disclosure forms from last year and this year. And it is true that this year's signature looks like I signed it in a moving car. Some days the benign essential tremor that I have had for years now is worse than on other days, just as it is for the approximately five million other people in the United States who suffer from similar tremors. It is annoying, but it is hardly evidence that I am at death's door nor should it come as a surprise that I use canes to help me get around. Or that I am not always as fast as I once was. I am not aware of any requirement for physical dexterity in order to hold the office of U.S. Senator. The often grueling hours that work in the Senate requires are tough on far younger senators, and I am no longer one of the younger senators, but to worry in print. Did I have missed one vote this year? Really? Out of more than 18,000 votes in my career? To miss one vote or two votes every now and then is surely excusable. Even old people can be allowed a sick day or two now and then, can't they? That is really the crux of the matter here. In this internet-savvy, media-infused culture, we have forgotten that people do get older. Even, dare I say it, old. Old. Television is fully, full of pretty young people. The few white-haired heads that one sees on television are made up and glamorous. Off camera, though, most bear a little resemblance to their TV persona. In a culture of Botox, wrinkled cream and hair dye, we cannot imagine that becoming older is a good thing, an experience to look forward to, a state worthy of respect. If I were 50 years old and used canes due to some injury or had a disease-related tremor, the news stories would be about my carrying on despite my adversities. 
But my only adversity is age. Age. In real life, the lucky ones among us do get old. We move down the steep, steep slope to the far right of the bell curve of age. The really lucky ones, and I almost count myself among them, get to be aged into the 90s or even older. A distinction that I like to think is naturally paired with the wisdom born of experience. We do get white hair, yes, and we do get wrinkles, and we move more slowly. We're wary about falling down because we don't bounce up the way we used to. Our brains are still sharp, but our tongues are slower. We have learned sometimes the hard way that to think before we speak. I hope, however, that what we have to say is worth the wait.